Hey, I saw your ship. The unreliable, right? It's a real beauty. Hey there. Word around the spaceport is that you came in on the unreliable. You a new crewmate? I see. Well, this would have been easier with Hawthorne, but I hope that if you're flying his ship, it means you're a freelancer, too. Wonder if you can help me. I run an outfit for the moving of uh, less than legal goods. There's a particular piece of cargo needs delivering to a particular individual in the spaceport. Thing is, I don't know where the cargo is right now. The crewmate who handles that is in the clink for getting a little too disorderly in town. We've already attracted too much attention. Too risky to visit her myself. That's where you come in. You help us out, I'll give you an equal cut of our pay. Great to hear. First, you need to go meet the crewmate who got herself jailed. Cassidy Mills is the name. She'll know where the cargo is. Oh, yeah, right. We have a secret phrase. I like boneless spratwurst. Say that and she'll know you're a friend. Be seeing ya. Remember, Cassidy's at the Constabulary. She might be a little uh, wary, so be careful. Haven't seen you around before, but that ain't no problem. All are welcome at the Copper Bottom Cantina, so long as their bits are good, huh? Can I get you something? Nah. No, oh, but some folks have been saying there was some kind of fight between a mechanical and some spacers last night. I didn't see it myself, and it seems far-fetched. Deputy Wine Taster ain't exactly prone to wandering, nor are most other mechanicals that I'm aware of. There's a new void Dan burn on my nice clean floor, but I think it's the doing of one of my customers. So you notice that I'm a little off kilter, huh? Damn if it ain't been a while. I'm too old to run around anymore, but in my heyday, I used to play for the Rangers. Uh, all right. Once I retired, I moved here to coach the team during training camp. And when I got too old for that, I started tending bar here. discrepancy detected nearby. Inspector, this loading auto mechanicals programming does not match factory default settings. The standard defensive protocol has been modified to include an additional trigger. There is a directive in place to initiate defensive protocol should an unsanctioned data log installed in this auto mechanical be removed. Slug auto mechanical maintenance records indicate this particular unit is frequently reported as out of position or missing for periods of time. For type K-19 cargo transport auto mechanicals, defensive protocol is triggered by attempted interference with cargo or its transportation or attempted destruction of the unit. Once triggered, defensive protocol targets the perpetrator and applies lethal force until the target has been deceased for a minimum of three minutes. Loading auto mechanical unit K-14 is fully operational at 99% power. Please designate the cargo to be transported and its destination. 
How can this auto mechanical assist you? You got it, Cap. Failsafe successfully disabled. Kill mode deactivated. Failsafe successfully disabled. Kill mode deactivated. Ejecting data log 17C. Apologies, this unit does not have access to cargo inventory lists. Unit entering standby mode. Have a nice day. Don't think I know you. What do you want? Yep, that sure is the passphrase, even if it is dumb as hell. What's Dash's plan? Because I'm gonna tell you where our package is, Hullhead. If I were part of an ambush, you'd have already been arrested. We're in the constabulary for law's sake. You're looking for cargo from our ship, the Rat King. Small package, wrapped in brown paper. It got moved to the shipping yard, but I'm not completely sure where. I'm sure some slugite knows how to find it, or has it listed in a terminal. All else fails, you could just case the joint. Might end up with some extra loot for your troubles. Inspector. To what do I owe the pleasure? Ooh, I love this part. The big reveal. So tell me, what happened? Hmm, what makes you say that? Damn, you're good. Hacking the Automex. So that was our skimmer's game. But why? Everything that was stolen has seemed random. I certainly see no pattern. A cover-up. I see. The random theft was a smokescreen to hide what the culprit really wanted. I must say, Inspector, you've done excellent work on this case. Then that just leaves how the culprit knew where their true target would be, or indeed, that slug would soon possess it. You've quite a flair for the dramatic, Inspector. Am I right to think what you found in my office earlier was the other half of this listening device? Not quite, Inspector. That listening device belongs to me. I lent it to Halcyon Helen to assist her with role research. That, or she never intended it to stop. Impossible to know now. Unbelievable. I helped her. Gave her whatever she needed. I thought we were doing each other a good turn. This is a betrayal, Inspector. I do not take betrayal lightly. Helen should consider herself very lucky indeed that she is already among the dead. And that some other bastard beat me to putting her in the ground. Halcyon Helen is already dead. If I'd known Helen was stealing from me, I may very well have killed her, or had her killed. Alas, I did not. Again, I appreciate your assistance with this matter. And with a larger mystery at hand. I wish you luck with your investigation, though I doubt you'll need it. 
You'll find Helen's murderer. I'm confident of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must find a way to excise my anger that minimally damages my business empire. I expect it will involve shooting quite a lot of guns. Recruit? Hey, you! Whoa. You're back, I see. Hope the law hasn't caught on to what you're doing. Law meaning authorities, that is, not the forces running the universe. No complications? Brand. The recipient is Joseph Dempsey. He runs the Eridanos Dry Goods and Sundry. Reminds me of Moreau's, just a bit. Hello, welcome to Aridano's Dry Goods and Sundry, the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. I'm Marketeer Joseph Dempsey, here to make your shopping experience as pleasant and normal as possible. A shipment, you say? The only shipment I'm expecting is 100 pounds of salt tuna a week from now. And I certainly don't expect it to be brought by an inspector. I learn about secret codes in my off time. For fun. It's never anything that I actually need to use, mind. An independent, huh? be a big risk letting you into my sanctum. Though if you're telling the truth, I think it'd be more than worth it. All right, follow me to the back. All right, so as you can see, this actually ain't the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. Welcome to my black market. Whatever you're here for, weapons, information, contraband, cane and ointment, I've got it. Sorry for the frosty reception. Had to make sure you weren't with the constable. <laughs> but seeing how you're a freelancer, I hope I ain't got nothing to worry about. Good. A worthy freelancer is hard to find. Since you're in the know, you can access my black market stocks. Though, you'll have to come by later. I'm waiting on my next shipment. Here's your pay. Good doing business with you, especially seeing how you didn't take this to the constable. Would have been a mighty pain in my tail end.
Hope the job's coming along well. No sign of the constable, which really makes me more nervous. Excellent. Let's divvy up the payment three ways, and we can consider this matter settled. Thank the law. Should be just enough to get Cass out of her damn cell. I guess breaking even is better than leaving with your partner in the clink. You might not be Hawthorne, but you can sure resolve a problem like he could. Maybe better. Thanks again for all your help. Hope you've been enjoying your stay. Spokesman said that the unveiling would be indefinite. Please, can't you see my heart is bursting at the seams? I absolutely must go out. A quote from the Sisty Cutlet. I voiced a Sisty Pig aware that it was going to be slaughtered. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. Oh, have you now? Tampering? No, no, no. I just happened to be passing through the kitchen and saw a dish that looked good. If being hungry is a crime, you better indict three-fourths of Halcyon. What? That damn bellhop promised discretion. Well, if you must know, it's... Um, an appetite suppressant. How do you think I keep my form so lithe? Terror ray glands keep me from feeling hunger pangs. Uh, I've never heard of that. You sure you're talking about terror rays? Their bits tend to give folks the runs. Oh, that's it. I'm firing my nutritionist this instant. Oh, uh, well, there's... Maybe I just wanted to see what was in it. Oh, law, what a pathetic defense. As it so happens, I may not have had the terror egg land acquired for personal use. I, I may have placed it in Bellamy's meal. But before you indict me, please, just listen. I wasn't trying to kill her. Lie is such a strong word, but even if I had chosen to poison myself, the danger should have been minimal. Terror ray glands aren't supposed to be lethally poisonous. They're supposed to cause extreme lethargy, as if you'd inhaled several quarts of Spectrum Vodka. She would have had to eat six or seven of the glands to die, and even then it would be an extended, arduous process. No, really. You must listen. I wasn't trying to kill Bellamy. I only wanted her to be incapacitated during the brown unveiling. 
With her out of commission, the next available celebrity, myself, would get to host the unveiling. Please think twice about telling the administrator of my misdeeds. If he learns the truth, what's left of my career will be left in shambles. What will happen when all of the great actors are gone, Inspector? Who will replace us? No one. That's who. There will be nothing on the Aether Waves but serials starring mechanicals. I hope it's worth it. Indeed. And that looks just like my old... Hey, you! Come take a look. Hey, you look like you need some stuff. Fancy watch? Spare cufflink? Single earring? You want it, I've got it. Junk. My friend, this is not junk. These are people's prized possessions. Priceless personal effects. Beloved souvenirs and knickknacks. Huh? Oh. Well, some of the guests left this stuff behind. Take a look for yourself. Me? Oh, sure. Terrific. Never better. And as soon as I pay off my docking fines, I'll be back on my feet and in my ship. So, it turns out Slug has some pretty strict rules on vehicle docking, and I may have broken a few of them. Who would think Slug would be so strict? You sure can. Buy some of my goods, and it'll count towards paying off my docking fines. And the delinquency fees that are accruing on top of them.
Even if he is, no one will think you dress the same as him on Earth. Time line discrepancy detected nearby. This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. Suspicious residue detected. Excellent deduction, Inspector. Imbibing of unauthorized beverages is strictly prohibited under Rizzo's company law. Ingredients include antiseptic alcohol, sucrose, and unidentifiable miscellaneous organic material. Closest match. Counterfeit spirits available at the Piraeus spaceport. Timeline is detected nearby. Discrepancy detected. Rizzo's company policy clearly states that all proprietary mascots must exhibit signs of physical life. Excellent observation, Inspector. Have you deduced a possible cause of death? Unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry. Closest approximations are... 1. Incident involving a game of darts. 2. The Needler. Now running Flattery Protocol. Excellent deduction, Inspector. Your logical faculties make my programming seem Paleolithic by comparison. Famously deployed by Halcyon Helen in Terror on Monarch, this weapon was responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. This unit is incapable of providing ethical advice. This unit is also incapable of answering rhetorical questions. Use this to draw a fine beat on something. Or someone. This port seems real busy. I wonder if they're trying to compete with the Groundbreaker. What do you want? Shh! Not so loud! How'd you know it was me? Yeah, that makes sense. You must be a good one to sniff me out. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, 
Incompleto? Oh, yeah, I guess it's kind of neato. Oh, what's the matter? Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. That I can do. What do you want to know? So, uh, how do I help? I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. You know, soaked. Muddled. Preserved. Lutered, half shot, void lush, on the Byzantine swizzle. Starry. One bit down, three bits up, spread across the spectrum. Top heavy. Should I go on? The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow. There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. Oh, wow. That's real clever of you to figure out. Helen would have liked you, I'd wager. Say, is the cow okay? It was wrong of us. I hope she doesn't have a hangover or nothing. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Yeah, it was. Because that's when I saw the weather station, which reminded me that Helen had asked me to get a data pad she'd stashed there for safekeeping. Nah, she sent a note to my hotel room before we, you know, split. I don't know how long it was sitting there before I noticed. Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is, it was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. Sticking around trying to explain whose data pad I had and why seemed dumber. Also, I'm not exactly the best talker. Especially when I'm drunk, so I got out of there. Ran like the Rangers were down by three and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. I don't. All we did was talk, I swear. It's just... I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. Should I? Ever seen Terror on Monarch, Birdie? Yeah. You remember that part when she narrowly escapes the clutches of the Sulphur Queen and her pet Raptodons? They based it on me, Birdie. I'm the Queen of Monarch, and our captain here has got a ship. They did? That doesn't seem right. Is that right? I think we ought to take Birdie here on a little getaway. 
Take him home. Show him what I've done with the place. Plenty of fresh air up there. And all the way down the half-mile fall. What? No! This doesn't sound like a fun getaway at all. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I used to calm down. I feel like you want me to say no, but yeah, you definitely made it difficult. Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Oryx's not a bad guy, he's just got an unusual job. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Oryx, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and the hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. Oh, yeah, you'll probably want to... Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Helen sure did have the prettiest handwriting. <sighs> Here. Take it. Either she was writing in code, or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said. Being bright was Helen's thing. I know, I know that, but you gotta believe me. I would never hurt Helen, no matter how drunk I was. You could preserve me in Spectrum Brown and I wouldn't even look at her funny. I wanna help you find her killer, Inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. Captain, you're saying we adopted you? I get it. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? Hey, pal. Over here. Hey there. You looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or adreno? Something with a little more kick? Bold claim, I know. But I wouldn't lie to you, friend. The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the Anticleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture? Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. Wait. You ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. I'll be honest. I don't really know where that puts us. All right, all right, fine. Yeah, I know, Birdie. So what? Yeah, that was me. Birdie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. He may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. Nah. What Birdie's got is a stress problem. He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. 
then you throw in playing tossed ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. Come on. Ferdy's a damn good hacker, but taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. I worry about him, that's all. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. Yeah. Damn shame about that. Bertie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Hope you've been enjoying your stay. Silvio Tran, setting a new record for the Grand Colonial Bellhops Laundry Cart League. If you're listening to this, you're listening to history. And Tall Tree, as we agreed, when I win, you're scraping terrorist shit off the windows for the rest of your contract. And you can stow the fear of heights routine, because there's no way you're weaseling out of that, pal. Here goes.
we heading inside, Captain? Don't worry. I got your back. Excuse me, Gunther. I need to ask you something. Who in the hell is Gunther? I told you to call me Hunter. Come on. Oh, right. G uh, Hunter, have you seen a little mechanical wandering through here? Might have been wearing my hat. I can't say I have. I can sell you a new hat if you want. Or some fine, legally obtained hunting supplies. You could go get that mechanical thief yourself. She's not a thief. She's lost. I just want her back. Oh, hey there, stranger. Don't mean to interrupt your business, but uh, have you seen a stray mechanical wandering about? Seems I'm running my mouth too much. My mechanical Betty up and wandered away a couple days back. I've been trying to track her, but the beasts make it hard. Personally, I prefer my organs inside my body. The shopkeep says I should buy one of his rifles and go looking myself, but like my machine, I'm not combat inclined. We can help her out, right? Won't take too long if we're on the job. I know it's a pain, but I think I need some outside help. Job or no job, I'm not leaving Betty out in the wastes. I'm contractually obligated to inform you that slug mechanicals are not notoriously inclined to malfunction, and any rumors to the contrary are slander. But, yeah, usually even slug machines don't get lost on their own, so I guess I'm to blame. Setting Betty's search parameters is my job. Must have added a zero where I shouldn't have. That don't usually happen by accident. I think she's trying to pull one over on us. Hey, I ain't in the habit of intentionally losing company property. That'd be one hell of a violation. Besides, I'm rather fond of Betty. This is all just an unfortunate cycle of events. If you can help rectify it and get me my Betty back, I'll give you everything I got. Betty's just your standard tripod mechanical. Though, she probably is still wearing my hat. <laughs> Without it, she seems kind of naked. Her main purpose is cacao milking, but the only cacaos in the reserve are close. Without a directive, she shouldn't have had reason to wander away from the milking area. Like those boat buckets need a reason to do anything. It's probably searching the world for more things to milk. Wouldn't make any sense. Ain't no cacaos out there. Betty's smarter than that. Hey, thanks so much. It would have been mighty lonely without her. Uh, uh, being unemployed, I mean. Be lonely being unemployed. <laughs> if you find Betty, try sneaking up and hacking her. If you can't do that, finding a way to stop her current routines should send her back home. Welcome to Hunter Legal's Legal Hunter Supplies. I am Hunter Legal. How might I help you today? Unusual. This whole land complex is a failed wildlife exhibition turned hunting reserve. You can't go ten feet without stepping in unusual. But I reckon you're asking about people unusual. I'd go have a chat with the prophet of profitability. Maybe she can intuit you in the right direction or something. But she is mighty far in the depths of the reserve. Perhaps you should purchase one of my fine armaments for the journey. Where better to sell hunter supplies than in the depths of the wilds? Surrounded by creatures that are just waiting to devour you. I've got an excuse, but the Prophet and her retreat don't. And they're even farther out. Prophet said I should gift her some rifles to improve my aura or something. I told her what she could do with her aura. Haven't spoken to her since. 
But you look like you're smart enough to not make the decision that she'll invariably regret. Don't quiet. No cacao is detected nearby. Returning to slug maintenance worker. I almost can't believe it. Betty found her way back. Here I was thinking I'd never see her again. Oh, Betty, you big goof. What were you thinking in that little metal noggin of yours? You nearly worried me to death. And you, ain't you just the most reliable freelancer in the colony? Let me just take a look at Betty here and we'll talk about payment. Yep, that's right. Her parameters for movement and target acquisition are a mess. I'll bring her back to the garage and get her sorted out. Since Betty's back safe and sound, I'll be sure to let my co-workers know that you're a good one. Here's some money for your effort. Least I can do to show my thanks. I guess this is what I get for hiring on the first person who'd listen to me out here. This is all I have on me. Now, I guess I better go before you ask for more. <laughs> Sorry, but we're a little busy right now. I'm sure one of the other guys would be happy to give you a tour. Lawrence, do you know who you're talking to? We always have time for the inspector. The inspector? That's you? I... I am so sorry. We didn't know what we were doing. We're so sorry. It'll never happen again. Oh, it's all over. I told
told you someone would catch on sooner or later, Bell. Lawrence, let me do the talking here. Inspector, pay him no mind. I'm sure you've bigger saltuna to can than us. Not unless it happened out here. We've been on this complex for the last day and change. Normally, yes, but we take guests out on live-action wilderness experiences for additional pay. You know, shoot a raft here, walk there. We're just between tours right now. Live-action? You can shoot? Hey, I'm not a bad shot. I've been keeping these tours safe for years. There's more than one type? Don't pay him any mind, Inspector. His upper story's a little gap tooth, if you know what I mean. But seeing as you insist on sticking your... That is, since you're so curious, I'll fill you in on what we're doing. We, uh misplaced some people on our last tour misplaced them in the maws of some local predators now we're stuck here wondering how to get their room keys might have been raptodons i find it hard to tell them apart especially when my glasses get fogged up here's one we ain't done nothing illegal the guests sign the proper waivers to come out here. Still, it'd be a pain for Slug if we don't make it look like they checked out too. Byzantines aren't always put off by paperwork alone, sadly. We knew sooner or later this was gonna happen. We've got some hush money tucked away. If you can get those keys for us, it's all yours. Did I just hear that right? The inspector is going to help us, Bill! Thank the stars! We're not out of the woods yet. Let's just see what happens before we celebrate. We last saw the guests deeper in the wilderness, Inspector. That'd be a good place to look. <laughs> 